Without further ado, we're going to tee it up here. We go to Lynette High School Live, and there you see Caden Story. We got Coach Story there right off of camera to the left, and we've got an entire crew. Uh, first off, Caden, before we get the commitment, I want to ask you, you've observed this process from, an old, from a younger brother standpoint, and now you yourself are involved in the process. What has this been like for you? Um, this process has been amazing. It's been a dream come true for everything that I've earned and everything that I've got. I'm going to give it to you, my friend. You take it any direction you want to go. Where will you be playing your college football? First and foremost, I'm grateful to God for blessing me to love and play the game of football. I'm so thankful for my parents' love and their sacrifice to help me get this far. The love and support of my grandparents, my family, my pastor, my church family, teachers, and, and my community helped me reach heights I never imagined. To my coaches, both basketball and football, thank you for pushing me past my preset limits. Thank, thank you to every coach that recruited me and believed in me. I finally found my home away from home. For the next three to four years, I'll be attending Clemson University. So Clemson is the destination for Caden's story. He is going to be a Tiger, as we talked about, a very, very strong presence there by Dabo Swinney and his staff. So first off, Caden, congratulations on the announcement there. But now I want to ask you, since you've got that orange hat on and it is Clemson, what stood out about the Tigers? Why is that the place for you? Um, um, what stood out about the Tigers is the support that they have for each and every player and the program as a whole. What was it like for you? What did you learn from watching this from, again, a kind of a younger brother standpoint that got you ready for the recruiting process? Um, just watching my oldest brothers go through this recruiting process, it taught me how to tell if, if the love is real, the love is fake. They could just be telling me anything to get me on campus. And I, and I feel like that Clemson is the best place for me in there, and I feel that they have genuine love for each and every one of their players. Awesome day there. You guys got a party to get to. We appreciate you joining us. Caden Story is headed to Clemson. He will be a Tiger. And guys, as we talked about, this is a big addition to that program and that signing class here. So now that it's official, we got a four-star kid here inside the top 247. Steve, immediate reaction. Well, he told me yesterday, or he told me earlier in the weekend uh, when he committed that Clemson was his dream school. So this is a program that when they offered, they instantly became the one to beat. Also talked about their Paul journey. You hear so many recruits when you talk about when, when programs mention academics for schools, Paul Journey is one of the first ones I think of uh, for a school that really brands that incredibly well. It, it, it's a major component for when recruits come on campus, they go through this Paul Journey tour and it really shows how uh, Clemson can really help you uh, develop off the field as a, as a student athlete. And that was a major part of it, but certainly their track record on the field, developing defensive linemen, coming in to play for a program that competes for national championships. That's a standard Caden wants to play for. He's going to his dream school. He got the offer. He jumped on it, told Dabo Sweeney and company a couple days ago, just shared the news publicly. And Andrew, you know, there are a lot of people out there who aren't Clemson fans, maybe rivals of Clemson, who are pulling for the demise of the program. And every time you see an announcement like that and you see Clemson there parked just outside the top 10, could now be in the top 10 with that addition. And by the end of the day, who knows? Uh, it gives you a little cause to maybe back off of the end of the world scenario for Clemson. Well, I'll say this. I don't think most are going to realize how important this was for Clemson. They didn't have a real edge front seven player that can get after the quarterback in this 22 class. And last year, they only really got one of those guys. So they needed to get someone that can come off that edge. And I think Caden's a guy that can do multiple things. And with the new defensive co coordinator there, Wes Goodwin, I think they're going to mix and match fronts just like Brent Venables did. And uh, eventually they're going to lose some of those five stars that are currently on the roster. So getting Caden, a blue chip kid in there, um, is bad news, like you said, for anyone in the ACC that's hoping uh, Clemson goes away. Do we, you know, do we look right now and get the sense that there may have been an impact on this recruiting class because of the amount of coaching turnover there? And if so, if I were asking you, present the case for Clemson. Is this a situation where this class doesn't quite meet standard or it does meet standard or I should expect something more next class? Like, where would an outsider look at Clemson and say they are right now as a program? 
Well, uh, when you, I look at the class, right, so I look at it, there's still some star power in there. Steve brought it up before. I mentioned Cade Klubnit, the, the quarterback. I really like two of the receivers, Adam Randall, Antonio Williams. So they're, they have some guys at premium positions, defensive back as well. But this is going to come down to how they evaluate. They've taken a lot of kids that maybe other Power 5 schools weren't chasing after here the past couple of weeks. And um, it, it's going to come down to how they can coach them up, how they can develop them, because those guys are going to be needed in that two deep relatively early. They don't have three, four years to develop. They're going to be needed right away, especially on special teams. Last I looked, Brian Brzee and those guys are coming back on the defensive line, and he could have played if Clemson was playing uh, in the college football playoff at the end of the season. So they're going to have one of the best defensive fronts in college football. They're bringing in one of the best defensive back classes in the country. We talked about receiver. We talked about quarterback. The standard's still the same for Clemson. They're trying to win the ACC and beyond. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics? Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.